Hello guys, this is Deepika from tutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will be creating the whole data model. So we will be creating custom objects for our application. Application name is Conference Management Application. So it has three different custom objects. Session object, you can think like. Session object will keep track of the information related to the session. Basically, what kind of session is it? Is it a Java session? Is it a um, in personal development session? What time it is happening? What is the date and time for the session? And what kind of level it is? It is an intermediate session, or it's a beginner for or for advanced level session. So we will be creating a custom object to create keep track of this information, everything about the session. Now this particular session will be taken by a particular speaker. So we will be creating another custom object which will have information about the speaker first name, last name, the email addresses, the bio, etc. And then later on we will be adding a a particular field to capture the photo of that particular speaker. So we will talk about that later. And then we will be adding a junction object which is because we wanted to have a relationship between a session and speaker and it is going to be a many to many relationship because one session can be given by multiple speakers and one speaker can give multiple sessions. So as, as I'm a Java developer and Salesforce developer, I can give a session on Java as well as Salesforce or I can give a session on Salesforce and Salesforce Apex. So one particular speaker can give multiple sessions at, multi at, at different times. So we will be needing a object which will basically take care of that many to many relationship. So we will be creating a session speaker junction object. So let's go ahead and start building our first custom object. So we'll go to the setup here, click on the setup and on the left hand side click on objects. And here we'll be go going to add a new custom object. So click on that new custom object. The object that we'll be adding, the name of the object is session. The plural label will be sessions. And uh, the record name is session name and leave it as it is. We can allow the reports. And then we're going to go ahead and save. So now we have added the custom object. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a couple of fields on this custom object. So now the first field that I will be adding will be basically the session date. So when the session is going to happen. So that will be the data type for that will be date and time. Click next. The field label is session date. And then click next. Visible to all the profiles. Click next. And we will be adding one more field. So we'll click on save and new. So the next field that we'll add is the description. So we'll go ahead and that was basically going to be a text area which will have information about what this session is about. So text area. Let me go ahead and see if it's text area long because it can be a bigger description. So it will be text area long. Click next here. And field label is going to be description. Click next. Visible to all. Click next. And then save and new. One more field I wanted to add. So this field will tell you is this a session for beginner session? Is it an intermediate session or it's an advanced session? So we will be adding this pick list. So we'll go ahead and click on pick list here. Click next. And here we're going to say the value is level. The field label is level. We will be adding our own values. So we're going to go ahead and click on this radio button. The pick list values is beginner. So if it's a beginner session, if it's an intermediate. And the last one we have is the advanced session. So once you do that, go ahead and click next. Visible to all next. And we're going to go ahead and click save. So now we have created our session object. So the next object that I will be adding will be called as the speaker object. So we'll go ahead and create another object here. So we'll say objects. Click on new custom object. And the next custom object is speaker. 
object. So we're going to go ahead and add that object. The plural label will be speakers. And then here, instead of the record name, we're going to have a speaker number. And it's going to be an auto-generated number. So click on that. And the value for that is going to be sp- dash, and the starting number will be 1. You can allow these features. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And go ahead and click Save. So now we have added another object called Speaker which will keep information about all the speakers. So the next thing is we're going to go ahead and add a couple more fields to the speaker object. So we will capture the first name of the speaker. So that is going to be a text field. Click Next. The field label is first name. Length is going to be 30. Click Next. Visible to all the profiles. Click Next. And then I'm going to go ahead and add another field. So I'm going to say Save and New. So this field is going to be for last name. So this is also going to be a text field. So go ahead and click on Text. Click Next. The field label is going to be last name. The length is going to be 30. Click Next. Visible to all. Next. And then another field to capture the email address of the speaker. So if you wanted to send an email to the speaker about the confirmation, then we will need this email field. So the data type for this field is going to be an email. So click on the email. Click Next. And then we're going to go ahead and click Next here. Going to be visible to all. Click Next. Save and New. This is going to be the last field to capture the bio. So what, what speaker is about information about the speaker. All that information. So we're going to go ahead and create another field. And that will be text area long. And that is basically for the bio for the speaker. So the field label is going to be bio. Click next. It's going to be visible. Click next. I'm going to go ahead and click save. So now we have created two different objects here. Session and the speakers.